How's it going everyone? Sephir here and we are back to talk about Blue Protocol. Once again, we have the character creation and benchmarking software which has just been released and I'm going to show you how to download it because it's in Japanese. It's going to throw you for a loop a little bit and we'll get in there and explore some of the character creation options. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. The first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the official Blue Protocol website for Japan and we're going to scroll down and click a link here. Once you click that link, you will be redirected to the terms and agreement page and a download button will be down below. I'm going to go ahead and link this in the description down below to make it easy for you. So you can go ahead and click on that one and just directly download the game client from there. Once you have downloaded the file, it's about five gigs. So make sure you have space on whatever drive you're putting it on. You will then extract it. Once you have extracted it, you're gonna double click to open it up and hit setup. Setup is going to take you to the main screen where you will start the process of installing the benchmarking client. Once you have opened setup, you will be greeted with this sort of choice box. It's gonna be hard to tell what's going on, but click the top option and then hit this one with the N next to it. That's gonna take you to the next page. And this is gonna be where it wants to install the uh, directory for the game or the client here. So go ahead and hit next on that one. And once you have that done, you just keep clicking next until you finally hit over in the last part and you will be installing the game itself. Once you have successfully downloaded the client and installed it into your computer, you will then be greeted by the final screen, which will be a little check mark here. This is going to launch the benchmark test client as soon as you close this out. So you'll simply hit this button down at the bottom to close it and get things started. Once the client is launched, we have a lot going on on the screen here. There's a few things like details of the agreement licenses and the official website links. But the only thing that really matters on this page is going to be the bottom two sections here. This one is going to be the button for the character creation in the bottom left. And in the bottom right is going to be the button to have the benchmarking client run and do its thing. So this is going to be the big options here. So the one that we're mainly after is going to be the character creation. So let's go ahead and jump in and start designing one of our characters. Once you launch the client, you'll be greeted with probably the most epic music I have heard in quite a long time. I actually just sat here and listened to it for a little while. It was really good, and that gives me a lot of hope for the soundtrack of this game. But that's not the point here. Let's talk about character creation. So everything's going to be in Japanese, so we're going to do our best. We're just going to sort of click around and see what we can get. So it looks like we have a few preset options on like body types and different things that we want to design. We can even flex these to make them even bigger. We can make ourselves thinner, thicker, whatever we want to do. So there's a lot of variety here. So this would be the body type silhouette. I think this might be some like generic presets if you want any of these. So if you want like a, you don't particularly care about how your character looks and you just want a base model or you want to fine tune it, this will be something nice to go ahead and choose from. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the hairstyles because this is important to me in any sort of like uh, character creation game, right? So usually you don't get a lot of hairstyles, especially for guys, they're kind of weak. Uh, but this one looks pretty good. I like a few of these so far. We got your classic anime protagonist hairstyles in a couple different directions in here. Uh, so very good. Uh, the color options, we'll go ahead and check those out here in a little bit. But it's not too bad. There's a little something for everybody here, so I do like that. And of course, we can always change the hair color. It looks like these are very like smooth and cool colors, nothing too bright or flashy. Maybe you can change that dynamic a little bit, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I do, I do enjoy a lot of these haircuts. I think that there is a lot of potential to make uh, very spitting images of a certain anime characters that you want to go about. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. So it looks like we have another option to change the chin range and skin tone. So however you want to play your character, you can feel free to go ahead and do that. Of course, some eye variations. I'm checking to see if we got any like classic anime eyes, like some Sharingan stuff or something. Uh, but I don't see anything too fancy, just different colorations and designs for pupils, as well as your nose and mouth gestures. And I like this like triple take screenshot on the right side here. I like this a lot because I feel like this allows you to get a real good view of how your character is. And of course we can add scars and freckles if we want and change the color of those. 
uh, so that's always something nice to see. And then I believe we have voice lines as well. Uh, I'll let you check those out for yourself because uh, the music is quite loud there. Uh, so once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and keep hitting next, and then we will be able to name a character. Do you keep in mind, once you design your character, there is no reserving the name. This name will be deleted once the tests come out, so you're going to have to rename your character and get that in. Uh, so that was the customizations for the male character. Let's see if we can go back a little bit here and check out the female character designs. They generally tend to have quite a bit of uh, options. So let's go ahead and see that. We'll take a look at some of the presets here and it looks like we have some pretty cool ones if I do say so myself. I like a lot of these. Um, yeah, th these look better than the guy models. As per usual, it's always like that, but... <laughs> But uh, maybe, maybe some uh, people will really spend some time on this and fully design their character, right? Like, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Uh, so I'm sure there's going to be some different options here and one that suits everybody's uh, particular taste. Uh, but I'm interested to see what kind of characters you guys come up with. There is that screenshot folder on the client. You can take a screenshot yourself. So let me know what your character looks like. Go ahead and design one. And uh, I have a Discord if you want to join it down below in the link to the description. You will see that there. And you can go ahead and post some screenshots of your character. Show me what it looks like. Tweet me on Twitter. Whatever you want to do. I'm interested to see what kind of character you guys came up with. So that's going to be it for this. I hope this guide helped you out a lot and was able to get you to the point where you could design design your character, play around with this, because I know if you really want to go into it, it can take hours sometimes to really fine tune and make your character look the way it wants to work. Uh, so at least you'll have that going in and pre-set up before you get into any sort of tests or before the game begins. And of course, you can go ahead and use the benchmarking test client software to use on the bottom right side of that launcher so that you can see if your PC is up and able to run the game client. This game has some massive hype behind it and is looking to be one of the better MMORPGs produced in quite a while, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what Bandai Namco and Amazon Games has to do with bringing this to the global regions. I'm hoping that the launch goes smooth, and this looks very promising to be honest. I haven't been this hyped for an MMORPG in quite some time, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what all it has to bring to the table. I am aware of 30-man raids within the game, party groups for dungeons, and a bunch of hard in-game content, so that's something that really excites me because where have other MMOs have kind of dropped the ball has been that end game and sort of community feel for the MMO. And since this game is looking to be able to deliver on that, I'm really excited to see what it has to kind of launch forward into the future and progress the MMORPG genre. I don't know if you guys are with me, but I'm definitely craving one. It's been quite a long time. Let me know if you guys are planning to play. I'm going to have a few updates in my Discord coming up here soon, which are going to involve getting groups and teams ready for this content. So if you guys are interested, feel free to stop by the Discord and check those out as we get to dive into the game and look forward towards the future. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for your time and watching the video. I truly appreciate that. And if you're interested in more Blue Protocol news and updates, make sure to subscribe, like, and follow the video, and we will see you in the next one.